Dear friends, good morning. Almost reconnecting. Okay. So thank you very much for being with me. And uh, today we're going to make a headband. And let me tell you what happens. I, uh, I get very cold in my ears. And so it, uh, it makes me very uncomfortable when it's, when it's cold to, uh, I get ear aches. So I am making these um, headbands and they're very nice because they adjust very nicely to your head since they are stretchy. Oops, okay. So I am going to be teaching you how to do this. We made this headband and we do have the tutorial on YouTube and we posted it. And uh, we also will have this one, which is very nice. Also, you add your stitches in the middle of the headband. See it? So let's see who comes and sees us, because I, I, uh, we did not have a live broadcast during December because it was vacation or everybody was busy and. Uh, we all had our things to do, <laughs> and uh, so I did go out. Hello, Sara, how are you? And Sanchita, how are you? Hi, Sarah. And so thank you very much for being with you. Hi, Karen, how are you? Thank you very much for being with me, and Happy New Year to all of you. Hi, Tina and Carol, hi. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here with me, and uh, thank you for connecting, and thank you for your preference, and thank you for watching our videos. Uh, yes, I will show you the process. Hi, Tina. Thank you very much. Hugs to you, too, and I will show you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is, this is what happens with this headband and it's nice it's it's all garter stitch see I okay Christine thank you and Barry <laughs> thank you and uh, okay thank you oh thank you dear thank you Mary Lou thank you very much for being with me hello okay hi from Germany all right we're from Germany you are a self, yeah, a lot of us are self-taught knitters, but you know, the, we are the most creative ones. We are the ones that come up with a lot of cute stuff. We don't depend on what people tell us to do. So this is, I'm going to set up my camera on my table so like that I can tell you what to do. So uh, thank you for your, thank you very much, Mary Lou. And okay, so I am going to put my camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And I know that my lights are here. But you from India! Oh my gosh! Lubbock. Okay. Juanita, thank you very much. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making. Let me get here. Thank you very much. Oh, you're sweet. You are very sweet. Thank you very much. Okay, I think you can see things right there. And so this is the headband that we're going to be making. You people are very sweet. I really, really nice to see you too. <laughs> thank you. Central Oregon. Okay, thank you, Grace. And Linda. All right, Happy New Year to you too. Okay, so let's get on working. Thank you very much. From Houston, Maria Reina, thank you very much. And okay, so you do know that I do speak Spanish, and so I can answer questions in Spanish also, sometimes in French also, but mostly English and Spanish. Okay. So I think you can see things right from there. Let me get it from where I see, because it is a, a nicer view. Okay, I think that's a much better thing. Okay, 
So this is the way you start your headband and what you want to do is that you want to let me get this a little bit to the back and the lamp out of here a little because it's a little bit too bright. All right. So what you want to do is that you want to have a professional cast on. See that? And you want to have a professional cast on because you're going to be sewing later, the beginning with the end. And so, like so. So this is what we're going to do. With scrap yarn, with a piece of yarn of any kind, I, I usually use you know, thicker yarn because it uh, it's easier for me to unravel later. So what you want to do is to only cast on six stitches. So for the professional cast on, I'm going to be making eight chains with my crochet hook. And you don't need a crochet hook. You can even do it with your fingers. So you go around your finger twice and then put it around and you have one and around and you have two around and you have three around four around five around six around seven and around eight. Okay, eight is more than enough. So now you want to pass that one and you want to make a knot in this one because this is the side that you're going to be taking off later. And you do want to remember which side you ended with. And I'm just going to cut the extra tails because they get in the way. Okay, so now with your needle let me see with my circular needles because the others are taken. I am going to go into, see this is the right side of your chain and you want to go on the bumpy side, the back side. You want to go there and we're going to pick up only six stitches. I'm leaving a long tail just because I don't want to uh, lose my stitches so you're going to pick up one and then go into the next bump and pick up another one go into the next bump and pick up another one so that's three and go and pick up another one and that's four pick up another one and that's five and pick up another one and that's six okay six is plenty and now we're going to start knitting this and this is very interesting and let me show you why see on the sides here and I hope you can see it you do not have bumps like would it like if you would have if you were only knitting so you have a chain there that looks very nicely finished see the chain and on the other side also you have a chain see it and so it's nice and smooth and the way to do that is that on the first row and only on the first row you are going to be knitting the first stitch so we're going to be knitting the whole row because that's only like the beginning now from now on you are going to add stitches on each side and you add stitches at the beginning of each row and the way you do that is that the first stitch you're going to pass without knitting it, pass as if to knit it, and then pick up that strand in between the first and the second one, put it on top of your needle, and knit it through the back of the loop. 
see it and then you keep on knitting until you are on the last stitch and then that last stitch always purl so let's do that again and I'm using circular needles just because I have all my number eight knitting needles take it oops I think I did it with the other with the other yarn okay so let's put it on this one so first stitch you want to pass as if to knit without knitting it pass as if to knit and then pick up that strand put it on top of your needle and you're going to knit that strand through the back of that loop and then knit to the end of the row and the last one you are going to purl so that's what you're going to be doing on each one on every row that you make you are going to pass the first one as if to knit the second one you put on top of your needle and pick it up from the back of that stitch there and knit it so let me put this a little tighter and then you knit to the end of the row and the last stitch you are going to purl let's do that again one more time so the first stitch you're going to pass as if to knit without knitting it you're going to pick up that strand in between those two stitches put it on top of your needle and knit it through the back of that loop there and then knit it all the way to the last stitch and then the last stitch you're going to purl so that means you're adding one on each side at the beginning of each row and you're going to have something that looks because i did my homework i have already done all this so on on this one i added stitches on each side until i had 30 stitches so i have 30 stitches from one side to the other and it it becomes very nice because see how stretchy that is and this is the uh, chic sheep from red heart and it's a it's a uh, merino wool yarn very pretty very nice to work with let me see see it's that the chic sheep and it's very warm and very stretchy very strong too anyway this is this is has 30 stitches and on this one i decided to put only 25 so i added my stitches on each side so i passed that first one without knitting as if to knit i make an extra uh, uh, a stitch on the strand between the first and the second i knit all the way to the last one and the last one i purl and then the the straight part you are going to keep on knitting and the same way so let me get some more of this yarn here you are going to pass that one as if to knit and then i'm not adding any more stitches so you just knit the whole row and this is something that you do on every row you knit the whole row and 
until you have the last one. Let me go and finish this. And this is 25 stitches. And it's, you know, it's wide enough because it covers your ears very nicely. So it's up to you. So, of course, remember that the last one you purl because see, you have that nice finish there. See it? I, I hope you can see it. And then on this side also, you have that nice finish. Okay, so now what you want to do is that you want to measure get my tape measure here and you want to measure to have from the beginning to where you start taking off you want to have 13 or 13 and a half inches now of course measure around your head but see on this one I have 13 and a half inches before I start taking off can you see that? So, if you have a smaller head, do only 13. But for a, a, like a 21, 22 inch round head, you do need 13 and a half. And then, of course, if you're doing this one, you can go to 13 and a half because it takes less time, less rows to take off. Okay, so now we're going to see how to take off. So because on this one, it's every row you pass one as if to knit. And then you knit the whole row and to the last stitch and then the last stitch you purl. And it's every row is the same, so no problem. Okay, so let's finish this one because I am on the last part of it and so we pass as if to can you see me okay hey <laughs> thank you so we pass one as if to knit and we're going to be knitting all the way to no we need to take off whoops okay that's the purpose of this row okay we pass one as if to knit and then we're going to knit two together. And we knit to the last stitch. And the last stitch we purl. And we need to do this until we have too many yarns here. Let's to get them out of the way. And now let's do that again. We pass one as if to knit, knit these two together, and then all the way to the end of the row. And the last one you purl. Okay, let's do that again because I'm almost done. So pass one as if to knit. Knit these two together, and now I have three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one we purl, so we have eight. Now we go and pass one as if to knit, knit these two stitches together. And to the last stitch and the last one we purl and now we go and pass one as if to knit knit these two stitches together okay I was picking up a little bit of the other one two together that's three four, five, six. Wonderful. Okay. So now I want to sew these two together. I can do it with a three needle bind off. 
if I want it. Or I can do the Kitchener stitch. Let's do the Kitchener stitch because like that we remember how to do it. I am going to cut my yarn, leave a tail, a pretty good long tail because I don't want to miss any yarn. Put it on my needle. Okay, so now with this side, Remember that we put that knot there because we wanted to remember which side we finished with. So let's cut that knot. And that is the side that we want to start unraveling. Okay. So let me get another needle here. that one and that one and that and that that and that one so okay so now I have my six stitches here but since I want them to be on the other side I'll just transfer them to another needle because I want to work on on this side okay so now I want I have my needle here and I'm going to put them parallel see like so and I'm going to put only the first one I'm going to pass that first one as if to purl and the, knee, the stitch in the back as if to knit. Okay, so now I want to pass this stitch as if to knit and then the next one as if to purl. Remember we did that once in a tutorial not long ago. So this next one in the back as if to purl and the next one as if to knit. And then in the front as if to knit. And the next one as if to purl. And in the back as if to purl. And the next one as if to knit. And then in the front as if to knit. And then as if to purl. And in the back as if to purl. And then as if to knit. And then in the front knit. Then purl. And in the back, purl and knit. And in the front, knit then purl. And in the back, purl and knit. And then I'm on the last one. I want to go knit and purl. And then I just want to finish that there. And see now I have a very nice finish. See it? So very, very nice. And I am going to put my yarn in the back. Make a little knot here and weave in all those ends. Okay. And I'll cut that. And then of course the other tail needs to be done also. And I'm going to pick up this large strand here that doesn't look pretty. And I'll just weave that one a little tighter somewhere else. So there we go. And we have a very nice headband. Let me cut this one also. Get it out of the way. And then now I have, I have a little head here. So let me see if you can see it. Can you see it? Okay. See, I have a wig. Now you know I have a wig. So now you can put 
your headband around your head. And it folds very nicely because it 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 uh, it hugs your head. See, it doesn't look wobbly in the back because since this is very stretchy, this stitch is very stretchy. It molds nicely around your head, so that's something that's very nice. Put your hair in the front, like pretty. Pretty, pretty, and it's like so. Of course, you can wear it all in the back if you wish, but I kind of like hair in my face. Okay, so now you can see how pretty it looks, and it looks it kind of hugs in the back. And if it's shorter, it'll be like 25 would be like this much, but. Um, this is the way it looks. See? It folds very nicely. And if you put, want to put some of your hair on top, that's okay too. So this is the way it looks. And uh, let's see. Can you see me? <laughs> okay. Let's see who's there. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching us. And uh, like our page and share us with your friends and get on with knitting because it's still cold. You still feel like a, like a hello from Greece. Rosa from Greece. My goodness, hello. Thank you very much for being with us. And uh, thank you for, for sharing us with your friends. And please like our page. And... Uh, I will be seeing you soon. And Happy New Year. Hello. Hi, Letty. Hi, Ari. Thank, thank you, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you very much, all of my friends. And Happy New Year again. And uh, so this is it. This is a new headscarf. And I will have the uh, written instructions on YouTube for you to... Uh, it's, it's very easy, really, really easy. And then my mother used to make these for us because when we lived in Mexico, but we went skiing in, in, uh, in Canada and stuff like We did things and we traveled. So we have had to have. And then Guadalajara, you know, Guadalajara is as high as Denver and it can get pretty cold. So uh, we had these to wear to school. Thank you very much to all of you, and uh, Happy New Year again. From Thailand, my goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you, Grace. Thank you very much, Leti. Ay, qué linda. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, Leti. Hasta luego. <laughs>